Hello, my name is Art Tricky. I am the father and founder of Equine Myotherapy. That's been some 20, 25 years ago. And then I had tutorial videos and since then there's been a lot of different schools or people that are doing equine myotherapy. I had friends of mine ask me but that didn't upset me. And no, it doesn't upset me. And just like using the verbiage of uh, the trigger points that I coined, myoneuromyotendinous junctions, and I had to find the locations of the same. But it's a testimonial to me that what I do works and that the myotherapy works. Uh, what, I, what I have done is develop this uh, e equine myoprobe. And that I just got now. Uh, I have a, well, I, excuse me, I have patent pending on it. But what it's going to do is replace the uh, use of your thumb, just like myself. Uh, you notice my right thumb, the tip of it's bent way back and the left one straight. This is the one I always used. I call that equine thumb numitis. And this uh, equine myoprobe eliminates that. Uh, it's, it's a very well designed tool. It's designed ergonomically. Uh, for uh, folks with small hands and big hands and it does a great job on the horses. Uh, equine myotherapy by our tricky is uh, quite involved. It's an, a, a lot more involved than just doing trigger points on horses. It's also setting the horses up and recognizing the compensation defects and imbalance defects, overdevelopment, underdevelopment, but more importantly correcting those problems. It's one thing to recognize them, but then the proper shoeing prescription and also a, an excellent farrier to work with that's open-minded and that will make these changes. Then it's up to the owner, trainer, and the farrier to stay on top of this when the horses shift back to uh, being level again. They'll compensate from uh, uh, an injury or to try to maintain balance and that will throw their development off. They have to be equal side to side. They have to be level side to side in order to travel in a straight line. And when they do that, then they can relax and they'll move forward willingly. Uh, some of the horses that I really enjoy working on are the ones that are in, involved in timed events, like trotters, pacers, runners, thoroughbreds, uh, hunter jumpers, uh, stadium jumpers and uh, uh, also uh, barrels and poles. I worked on Martha Josie's horses. But what happens there when you take time off of that clock and it's very apparent other than people saying, well, he's really going good now. Like with thoroughbreds, if you have a thoroughbred that'll bear in or out in the stretch or in or out in the turn, and you make those corrections. You get the horse going level and where he isn't resisting lead change, and then they can sit back and relax. And then when you ask them, they're, uh, they've, they've, got the, they've got the zip for you at the end. But I really enjoy working on horses in timed events. What my mission and goal is, is to teach everyone that I possibly can equine myotherapy by our tricky. And I want people to uh, look at horses like I do and recognize these problems. Horses, as they get older, just like people, change physiologically and their gait will change, their reach will change, their range of motion will change. So you have to keep up with that and shoe them accordingly and keep them level to avoid injury and also maintain high performance level out of them. So anyway, we'll have the store open soon. The, uh, the equine mile probes, uh, as I mentioned, I've, I have a patent pending on them and uh, they are for sale and uh, I'll be shortly working on getting a, a movie made of everything that I do, everything concerning the self-adjustment, the trigger points, the corrective compensation showings, it will be all-inclusive. And then you folks decide out there, uh, you can call me and uh, we can discuss uh, my, uh, me teaching you equine myotherapy by Art Tricky and also certifying you as a, a myotherapist. And I'll always be just a phone call away if you're out there working on a horse and, and come across problems that you have. So in the meantime, uh, take, a look at the, take a look at the website, take a look at that uh, equine myoprobe, and uh, stay in touch and we'll have the, the store open soon. Thank you. 
yes, this is not a paid commercial, but Fly Emirates Airlines. This is one of the first production equine mile probes, and I'm going to be sending this to, <coughs> excuse me, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed uh, of Dubai or the United Arab Emirates. Uh, while I was there for several days in 2007, I was treated with uh, the utmost respect, courtesy, and I felt 100% safe. But th anyway, this is a gift to uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. Also, I this is my ring from Dubai that's got an Arab horse head on it. This turquoise came from my cousin Lorena Trichty. I kept it from when I was a, a little boy out there. Had it made into a ring and then of course this is my uh, rock necklace from Iraq. So anyway, uh, this particular first mile probe, equine mile probe, is going to uh, be sent to uh, United Arab Emirates. And uh, by the way, anyone having any questions about being over there, I was there in 2007 and I, I just loved it there. I loved my stay there. I, uh, the people were wonderful. So if you have any reservations, I wouldn't. Go visit there and remember, fly Emirates Airlines. Thank you.